charter school is a public school. We get confused a lot with being a, um, a private school, but we are not private. We are publicly funded. The difference between a neighborhood school and a charter school is we have our own governing board. So uh, the district has its board. We have our own governing board made up of parents here. As a parent at ACS, uh, of course I am PTO president, but we volunteer in the classrooms, we volunteer for fundraising events. If parents are required to do 20 volunteer hours per year. We absolutely need that in order to function here. Not because you have to, but because you enjoy it. Instead of an elementary middle school, we are K-8. Having middle schoolers with younger kids, make them it does make them behave better. Uniforms, um, I think parents really enjoy because they don't have to fight their kid in the morning. There's no arguing, no fighting. It's pick out which color approved shirt you want to wear today and put on your blue bottoms. We're good to go. <laughs> Elementary kids, I think, like the middle school not so much. It's nice in the morning because I don't have to pick out my outfit every day. This side is your test. The kids can actually learn and they're not focused on who's wearing what, who got what. It doesn't matter what you're wearing, we're working on academics here. Okay, what is number three? We also have very small class sizes. Our elementary is capped at 22 and our middle school at 24 kids. I think it's a lot nicer because the teachers can focus on you particularly and help you with your needs. So that um, gives us an advantage of just that small um, community feel. What I like most about the school probably is the staff. You could probably handle it. Yeah, they're passionate, they care. They're all really nice and really focused on helping you learn. They really um, take an interest in the students and seem to um, want their best interest at heart, which is what every parent would like to see. Little tiny steps. We also, as a charter school, have a little more choice um, with curriculum. We don't have to follow what the district does. The curriculum seemed to be advanced. Instead of keeping you right at the the minimum requirements by the state, they push our students higher. A bunch of particles. We assess them to determine their ability level and from there we place them in um, different groups. For instance, you aren't just, if you're in second grade, you just don't take second grade math. We would assess and determine what level of math your child needed in order to keep excelling them. It's a spiraling curriculum. So for instance, in second grade, uh, they may learn about Japan. They learn again about Japan in in possibly fourth grade, fifth grade, um, and so they build on that knowledge. What you learn on day one, you are still learning every day, and it, it carries with you throughout your years. And to me, that's the way the world normally works. You learn something once, you and you keep going from there. We try to make it, uh, I guess, more real to them, interesting, so it's not just sitting in a desk learning, right? We're trying to engage them, trying to get them excited about it. The teachers really like push you to do your best here and I think that'll really help me through high school. <laughs> what we hear from the high school is the principals will call me and say, your kids are well prepared. Uh, they know how to study. They know how to do homework. This school prepared me a lot more for high school than other middle schools would. Some of them are even able to place out of certain courses because they are so prepared here at ACS. We are trying to uh, basically make them productive, good people in this world. That's our goal. They're preparing our students, which is what every parent would like. We just care about kids.